Turn it up. Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. If we linking up, what we linking up? What time no yeah. sleeping time? I said I had to call him up I made the phone call a deke like what's up Is you ready for war? He replied being ready for war Being ready for a battle with swords And I respect him cause he fought many wars I humble down to what the scriptures say And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way I know it's hard in this walk And they been walking for years So when I weak in the flesh They voice attend to my ears A young man try and soak the wisdom Gain the knowledge Apply the scriptures Wrong decisions Leave me senseless Dear Lord would you give me a chance We all looking for the code the gate. We all look at how to Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? The workers of iniquity. Another word for iniquity is sin. Give me first John 3 and 4. We're gonna show you what sin is. We rising up against you evildoers. The ones out here doing this crime, these crime rates is through the roof out here. We out here to show you something. We're gonna show you what sin is according to the Bible. Cause we rising up against the, the workers of iniquity, read. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. It says whoever committed sin transgresses the law. That means you're breaking the law, read. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin, which is iniquity, is the transgression of the law. Yeah. Give me 1 Maccabees 3 and 43. 1 Maccabees 3 and 43, bruh. We out here for you so-called black Hispanics and Native American Indians. We rising up. We do this for the most high God. Read. The book of 1 Maccabees chapter 3 in verse 43. Read. They said one to another, uh -huh. let us restore the decayed estate of our people. We are here to, the, to restore the decayed estate of our people. Because we living in the slums and the ghettos. Right. Our people at the bottom. So we trying to restore that because we should be on the top. We should be up on the, above all nations. Finish that. And let us fight for our people uh -huh. and the sanctuary. Alright. Give me uh Deuteronomy 2815. We here to show you that you Israel. So-called blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy 2815. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And hearken is an, another word for hearken is to listen. You don't listen to the Most High God, read. Right? To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to do all his commandments. Not pick and choose like the Christian church do. And pick that we're going to keep the Ten Commandments. No, it's more than that. You got you to read this whole Bible. We're going to follow all these commandments, read. Right? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses is evil things. Give me the whole one and nineteen. Bring it out. Curses is nothing but evil things. These evil things is gonna cleave to us if we don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Get that. Baruch one and nineteen. The book of Baruch, chapter 1 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Since the day the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt, read until this present day. We have been disobedient unto the Lord our God. Disobedient means we're not listening to the Most High God. We being a hard head. We being stiff neck. Read. And we have been negligent. In negligent. That means we we neglected. We not listening. We not trying to hear what the Most High God got to say. Read. And not hearing His voice. Wherefore these evils cleaved unto us. These what? Evils cleaved unto us. These what? Evils cleaved unto us. These curses, these, these evils, these evil things, that's what's cleaving to us. Let me say. And the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses his servant at the time he had brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt.
to give us a land that floods with milk and honey, uh -huh. like as it is to see this day. Go back to 28. Give me a 28 and 16. Read 15 again, then we're going to jump to 16. Read 15 from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it should come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if thou wilt not listen me to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses, we just read that evils is curses, evil things is curses. That's what's clear to us. So we're going to get you some of these curses. Give me 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. That's our people. We're living in the ghetto. The slow, the projects, so-called Mexicans living in trailer parks, got the so-called Indians living in reservations. Bring it out! Our people are cursed in the city. Bring. That's right. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall thou be in the field. If you go back in time, go back in time. Our people are plantations. We was cursed in the field. We was picking cotton. We was say serving the white man. All right, bring it back to modern day. When you go to school, they ask you what field you want to go in. Like what field do what field do you want to study? We curse in the field. What's that, bro? Cornfield. Exactly. Uh, give me seventeen. Verse seventeen. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Now, the blacks is better than me. We don't own nothing as a nation. Who own Walgreens? Who own AutoZone? Who own this store behind us? It ain't our people. We don't own nothing as a whole. There's ice curse in thy basket and thy store. Jump up to 32. Verse 32. Now, oh, God, God, give me Jeremiah 22 and 13. Get up. Give me Jeremiah 22 and 13. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 22, in verse 13. Read. Woe unto him that buildeth a house. Woe is another word for destruction. Read that again. Woe unto him that buildeth his house. Destruction. Be it to him that buildeth the house, read. By unrighteousness. By unrighteousness. Who did that? The so-called white man did that. All these other nations that had us in slavery, they built it on the back of our ancestors. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Finish that off. And his chambers by wrong. Read. That he uses his neighbor's service without wages. Using his neighbor's service without wages. Is that not a curse? We curse. That happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Read. And giving them not for his work. We didn't make nothing in slavery. We ain't make nothing. We just hard acre pain. Go, go back to Deuteronomy, bro. Uh, we're going to jump to 32. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 32. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says, thy son, how you doing, brother? Hey, won't you come holler at me for a second? Did you know that you was an Israelite? All right, check that website out, bro. Hey, bro, uh, read that, Josh, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Let's take it back to slavery. When Master Charles come and sold your child to another master over there in Virginia, you all the way in Florida. You, there was nothing you could do about it. And then bring it back to how it is today. If you beat your kid hard enough, DCS going to come and take your child. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Bring it up. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them uh -huh. all the day long. All the day long. Uh, that means you're going to be crying and moping and ain't nothing you can do. All you can do is cry. Ain't nobody in your hand right. when they come snatch your child from you and put him in your children's services. When DCS come to your house, take your child. Ain't nothing you're going to be able to do about that. Bring it up. They ain't control everything. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. It says there should be no might in thy hand. <laughs> ain't like I just said, ain't nothing. I mean nothing you can do. Cause these is the curses that's cleaving it to us. Cause we, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, broke God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Give me 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. That day is the curses. How do we know we own them all? How do we know that's Walgreens? Cause it's a sign. It's a, if it 
wasn't for that sign saying it was Lamar, we wouldn't know what street this is. So that means this Bible is saying that these curses is going to be a sign and for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed, meaning thy children. It's going to be upon thy children. And your children's children. And your children's children. Till Christ, the black Messiah, comes back. That's right. 48. Verse 48. Verse 47. Yeah, read that. Verse 47. 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because I said, could you not serve the most high God in joyfulness and gladness? We doing it. We coming. Give me all Luke 14, 23. We do this with joyfulness and gladness. Let me show you why we out here. We do this with joyfulness and gladness. We love to do this. We get up early to come out and show our people who they are according to the Bible. To show our people that we should be on the top of all nations. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. Are we not on the highway and hedges right now? We doing this with joyfulness and gladness. Read. And compel them to come in. We trying to compel our people to come in. We want our people to come in and to repent and come back to God's house like this commandment. Read. That my house may be filled. That his house may be filled. Talking about the kingdom of heaven. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 47. I was just pulling that scripture to show you that we're coming on these highways and hedges and we're doing it with joyfulness and gladness. We love doing this. We do this for the most high God. Right? That's right. Verse 40, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. With gladness of heart. So you can't do this in vain. You gotta love to do this. You gotta love to wake up like, yeah, it's a sad. I'm happy it's a sad brother to be around my brothers and my sisters in righteousness. How you doing, brother? Get that brother on fly. But uh, read that from the top. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for, for the abundance of all things. Like he said, in all things. 28 and 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. In hunger. If you're hungry, guess who you got to go to? It no matter. Do we own McDonald's? Do we own Walmart? Hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, you get a fly? Hey, did you know? Hey, come on, let me, bro. Did you know you was a uh, God chosen so people? I don't know. That we, that we the Israelites according to the Bible? Come on, let me just for a second, bro. I'll let me for a few minutes, bro. Hey, we got a, I got a quick question. You see yourself on this sign? You see yourself on this sign, right, bro? Where you at? No, boy. Yeah, so your, your father would be a so-called black, so-called African-American, right? Yeah, man. So you'll be, so be a Jew guy, right? Give me Deuteronomy 76. Let me show you a couple of scriptures, bro. Hey, give me one second. I love you, man. I don't want to get with you. Hey, you, you got a flyer? That's why I came in. I didn't time. Here you go. Hey, check that out, bro. Hey, we got a website on there. We got a, a, a school on 1661 Lamar. Hey, keep it up, man. Hey, we need to see you there, bro. You got chosen people. You should be out here with us. That's right. That's right. Hey, read that while he's still walking. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Brother, this scripture for you. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art the holy people. Thou art the holy people. It's talking about the black, Spanish, and Native American Indians. Say that brother is walking out. This is for you, bro. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has chosen thee. The most high God has chosen you, brother. That's walking out. They're trying to hear this now. Read. To be a special people unto himself. He chose the black, Spanish, and Native American Indians to be a special people to himself. Himself only. Read. Above all people. Above all people. You're talking about above the so-called white man, the so-called African man, and the so-called Chinese man. Hey, we chose over all. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. Isaiah 44 and 1. The so-called so blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we God's chosen people. And we out here to show you that you the Israelites according to the Bible. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Read. Yet now, yet now here, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. O Jacob, my servant. Jacob is our forefather. 
and it's Israel, it's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, that's who's chosen. Right? That's right. Thus said the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. He says, fear not. We hey, The Lord didn't give us that, uh, that, what's that? Give, give me that. Give me that. You know what I want. We all, we ain't fear nothing. We come out here, we go to the hood. We coming to the highways and hedges. We hitting the slum. We coming to where our people at. That's what we do. I see you came back, brother. Hey, you know the scriptures say, man's going is of the most high. So you right here for a reason. Hey, you see yourself on this sign right here? Where you at? Holler at me real quick. Where you at on this sign, bruh? What else you got to do? It's a Sabbath. It's a day of rest. Right, talk to me. Man, what's up? You see yourself on this sign, bruh, bruh? You at the top, so you're a so-called African American. That's what the white man called us. You see right here, they say Judah. That's what the Most High God called us. You see what I'm saying? Give me Deuteronomy 76. Go back to Deuteronomy 76. That's what the Most High is saying to us. That's on. If you on this, you on this top right here, bro. You guys chose the people. We the Israelites. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art holy people. It says, for thou. We're talking about the Israelites. Get, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 to show them that we're talking about the Israelites. Just give me a few minutes, bro. I'm going to tell you something. We out here, we out here for you, bro. We hit the highways and hedges because we out here for our people. But you got to want to listen. You got to want to hear this. You feel me? That's what we out here for. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. I'm going to start at the beginning of the book because I was just at Deuteronomy 76. So I'm going to jump at the beginning to show you who Moses is talking to because Moses wrote the first five books. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. So I'm showing you right there that in Deuteronomy 76, we're showing you who we're talking about. Now give me Deuteronomy 76. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art in holy people. For thou, the so-called Israelites, we're talking about the ones on this chart. Read. Unto the Lord thy God, uh -huh. the Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has chosen thee, meaning you and us. We brothers, you our brother, read. To be a special people. Should not be a what? A special people. Read. Unto himself. Unto himself. So he chose us. It's 18 nations in this Bible, but he chose the nation of Israel. That should mean something. You feel me? Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. Yeah. I'm going to show you we chose it, bro. It's a reason you here. We all, hey, we all gotta come out of that life, bro. That life of sin, man. Get to that, bro. Give me a few minutes. I'm gonna show you something. Read Isaiah 44 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant. Oh, Jacob. Jacob is one of our forefathers. Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob is the one that had the 12 sons. Judah all the way down to Naphtali. That's who he had. Read. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Israel is a so-called black Spanish and Native American Indian. It says we are chosen. You see that? Read. Thus said the Lord that made thee uh -huh. and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, uh -huh. and thou just run, whom I have chosen. He chose. That, right there is showing you that he chose us, the so-called black Spanish and Native American Indians. Give me uh, Matthew 15 and 24. We're going to get in the New Testament and show you. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're going to read that from the top. But you know, in the Bible, if it's in red, you know, Christ said that. This scripture right here, Christ said that. Read that again, for the brother. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He was only sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's so called right. Black Spanish and Native American Indians. That's it. It right. ain't come for nobody else. Right. He chose us and us only. So we need to stand up for the Most High. When we first came out here, I pulled Psalm 94 16. We doing, we standing up for the Most High God right now. We standing up for the one, uh, for the ones working uh, their life in sin, living their life in sin. Give me uh, Luke, Luke 1 and 68. Salvation for Israel, bro. We chose him, bro. You feel me? Look. What they with the Christian church be telling you, bro? It's a lie. <laughs> hey, we out here to show you who you are, according to the Bible. After that, we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 28. Read that. Luke, uh. Hey, all right, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. I'm going to show you how we got over here then. 
Let me get this so one scripture. I'm gonna get straight to it. This, this is the last scripture. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. This is how we know we Israel. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. So how do we get over here? Read. So let me show you what Egypt is. Give me that real quick. Cause the brother gotta go. Hey, bro. I'm gonna show you what Egypt is before you leave real quick. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God. It says, I am the Lord thy God. Read. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. That thee is Israel. And Sean, what, what is Egypt, bro? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Bondage. What's another word for bondage, bro? Y'all know. Slave. Slave. So go back to 28 and 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Once again, Deuteronomy 28 shows us we Israel. This is how we know we Israel. Because ain't no other nation went through the captivity like us. Right. The so-called black Spanish and Native American Indians. That's right. right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It's it. The Lord shall bring thee into slavery, hard bondage, again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. So you just told me how we came over here, right? With ships. Did the white man come over here on ships? Did the African man come over here on ships? No, they flying over here on planes. That's how we know we Israel, bro. Hey, you got that flyer, man. Check that out. Let me finish it real quick. Ring. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. It says thou shalt see it no more again. You know what that's talking about? Our homeland, Israel. Our homeland is Israel. It says thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You be, you done been sold to your enemy. We went in slavery, bro. I know you can hear me. You were sold to the so-called white man. The Africans, the Arabs. All these that one you just bought that damn liquor from. Right. Right. For born men and born women. For slave men and slave women. That's who we, that's what we were when we came over here, when we got off them ships. Them cargo slave ships. Right. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you, meaning redeem you. We still in slavery. We still slave. We just pay slaves now. Shalom, this I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.